Alton Towers have finally announced the official relaunch of Nemesis, and it's been said by the park to be back with a vengeance in 2024. There's brand new signs around the area, Phalanx members are positioned around the site, and it seems to have clawed its way out of the Nemesis construction site. Nemesis has escaped. The poor fence has only been there for eight months, but all of this new suddenly developing story about the Nemesis creature escaping has all come from a video that was released last night by the park, and that video was amazing. It's built the hype perfectly, even if there was a casualty in that video, which was really upsetting, but I'll get to my condolences later. Today, I'm going to talk all about those recent happenings, what all of this means for Nemesis, and also about that video, because I need to watch it with you guys. I can't not, can I? And of course, if you do want to enjoy this video and you want to stay up to date on all things Nemesis going forward, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. So yes, once again, Alton Towers have hit us with the one-two combo. They've released a trailer showing us some of the story and sort of developing the story on top of it. And then the morning after them actually posting that, they've gone and translated it into real life. The one-two combo works very well because in the video, the Nemesis creature escapes and now it's clawed its way out of the side and you never know, it might be John Wardley. He's still in that station. He might just be trying to get out. But again, this is one of those things where they didn't have to go and do it, but they've gone and done it. And it's just amazing the fact they have done that. It builds the hype rather well, and it is rather epic. But as much as I've talked a little bit about the changes in the area, they only really make sense if you actually watch the video. So let's watch the video. Here we go, the story so far. We've got a little uh, backlog of what happened. So this is all from the fireworks. Sort of announcement uh, to do with it closing. Subterra's opening. It's not under control, mate. You're lying. The Nemesis DNA extraction. There's the little marquee. Why is he? Everyone else is protected with like masks or you know like they're wearing something. The main man doesn't have anything on. You idiot. There's all the liquid. Oh, there's an egg. They're injecting an egg. Okay, it's dormant. No, it's not. Never mind. It's all going wrong. It's not under control, as he said. Well, no, he said it was under control. It's clearly not. There we go. They're running out. On the camera. Oh. Bro is dead. See, my, my question is why, if someone has just walked off into the darkness and you hear them screaming and they're dying, why would you follow them? He's going to face the nemesis creature head on. Oh! <laughs> no. I can't be laughing at this. Absolute travesty. The phalanx man that we've known for so long, the spokesman, the guy that said Complex beast has become a victim of the nemesis monster and has passed away. A minute of silence. Anyway, oh, there's the nemesis monster's eye. It's grey and red and black. Back with a vengeance 2024. Oh, hearing that soundtrack again. I know I've heard it like multiple times just listening to it. But for the Nemesis soundtrack to be completely reimagined and actually in another video by Alton Towers, amazing. I love it. I've got goosebumps all over. You can't even see them. But yeah, as you can see, it is back with a vengeance in 2024. A nice little tagline to go with it reopening, you know. It's not just, oh, it's coming back, guys. They've actually sort of themed its return into this video, so... I love that. But as much as us enthusiasts know about the fact that this has been coming back for ages, seeing that end section with the Back With A Vengeance sort of tagline, that's the first time it's officially been announced that it's returning. It's been in news articles, it's been on YouTube videos, especially mine, I talk about this way too much. And I mean, if you can't see the fact that there's new track going in and that they're redoing it, and you don't think it's returning, What's wrong with you? Although if you don't even see that video and you still visit the park or I don't know You've somehow missed it all. You don't know what's going on. If you visit the park before close season You'll know it's coming back because around the entire site the whole season There has been black walls with some posters on it that say nemesis is closed or that there's you know Investigations underway. Oh, but those have been all over Forbidden Valley, but no, they're not anymore No, not anymore Well back to the grind after months of visiting and seeing those signs and saying 
Yes, we know it's closed. We can now say for the remainder of the season, which is like three days. Yes, we know it's reopening. They basically put these red, white and black signs around saying that it's returning and coming back with a vengeance in 2024. I just like how there's no like big Alton Towers sign saying that it's opening. It's all been kept to sort of phalanx facility font and sort of design. But as said at the start and throughout the intro, they have not only just put up these signs because along that central reservation area, that's not what you call it really, is it? Basically, in the bit where you used to mainly view Nemesis before when it was Nemesis the prequel, the wall along there has now been ripped up and sort of clawed into by the monster. I've said that about three times already. And when I first saw a photo of it, I didn't see the gates around it, so I thought you could probably just hop through there. Let me go and visit now. But yeah, they have gated that off and they have about three phalanx members of staff just sat there watching people like this. I'd get bored of doing that. But one thing I wanted to talk about from the video and also in person at the park isn't necessarily a physical aspect. It's more of a audio logical aspect. Because as you heard at the end of that teaser, there was a little snippet of the brand new soundtrack. And guess what they're playing at the park when you walk around the Nemesis site? parts of the Nemesis new soundtrack. It basically seems to be this long spiel of audio which has loads of screaming from the monster and the sort of noises that you heard on closing day which were extremely scary. Those noises are present and also occasionally it cuts into that amazing new soundtrack. Here's a snippet for you all. If that is Ima score, which I presume it is, they have absolutely nailed the old nostalgic feel with making it sound amazing and modern too. Literally everyone has said, don't change the soundtrack. And instead I was like, you know what? I don't mind if they change it as long as they keep the initial tune, but make it more sort of orchestral and more epic. And they seem to have gone and done that. And it's just amazing. It's insane. Although one thing about the signs and stuff, not necessarily the audiological things anymore, those signs and the tagline right now is back with a vengeance. So uh, people have been speculating, what if this means the name of the ride is Nemesis Back with a Vengeance. And I personally think the Back with a Vengeance thing is literally just a little thing to be like, we're bringing it back, that's all. But out of all of the options presented about the Nemesis name having Vengeance in it, I'd say I disagree with it all. Because me personally speaking, I think it'll just be Nemesis Reborn like we've been sort of speculating for ages because of that little trademark that came out to do with that name. Although that being said, I don't think we're going to be speculating for long because genuinely, that name has to be announced soon, surely. Announce it on the final day of fireworks. I'm gonna be there. Please announce it. What are your thoughts on this whole shebang with Nemesis? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. Good night, viewers. I'll be taking no further questions.